What, what up, up Central? Central? I'm Austin Winstead. And I'm Paxton Kircher. And this is Central Intelligence. In this episode, we're going to take a look at sports, weather, and we're going to play some games. But first, let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Central, right now, we're in the beginnings of a whole new semester. That's right, Austin. That means new classes, new grades, and new segments on Central Intelligence. That also means it's ACT season for our juniors. Be sure to use all your opportunities to study. I'm Brittany Marlowe. I am the school counselor in the Courage office, so I have last names A through G. Registration is going to start on the 22nd. You'll be getting a packet in the mail that'll have an appointment time with either your principal or your counselor in your alpha office. If you are interested in looking at different classes, make sure you go talk to those teachers or check the course bulletin, which you can find online on our school website. Finally, the Arctic wind is starting to leave us alone. Dude, I know. It's been grinding my gears all season. Yeah, hopefully it warms up quick. Well, here's Trevor and Noah with this week's weather. How's it going, Central? <laughs> Noah here with their weather for the week. This week, we're going to have some nice sunny conditions. All right, so starting with today, a low of 30 and a high of 57. On Wednesday, we'll have a low of 32 and a high 58, sun's still out for us. On Thursday, a low of 35 and a high 54, sun's still shining out for us. And then on Friday, it's gonna get a little bit more chilly with a low of 28 and a high of 40 and some clouds in the area. Thank you. Basketball season has been going great. You know, I don't wanna brag, but back in McCormick, they called me LeBron James. Of the C team? <laughs> Shut up. Here's Avery and Reagan with sports. Starting off with basketball, we played South on the 17th, and the boys won 71 to 28. The girls also won 66 to 23. On Friday the 19th, they played Laramie. The girls sadly lost 53 to 47, and the boys played for number one seed and won 81 to 72. Last Friday, we played East, and the boys won 65 to 58. The girls sadly lost 41 to 58. Cheer went to state this last weekend and placed third. They are going to Nationals in Florida. Indoor track had a meet on Friday in Laramie. Trevor Schmidt, Bridger Brokaw, Charlie Coles, Caliana Flores, and Emma Hess all placed first in their events. Boys play second overall. This week, basketball plays in Natrona County on Friday at Central. It's senior night, so come show your support for your seniors. They also play Sheridan on Saturday. Tomorrow, wrestling boys and girls are going against Laramie. Indoor track also has a meet this weekend in Gillette. Also in Gillette, boys swim and dive have regionals this Friday and Saturday. And that's it for your sports. Back to the anchors. Everyone make sure to make it to all the games you can this season. Speaking of games, that's the next segment we have for you. Let's see how well Central Community listens. Say nothing into this mic and win a prize. Come on. Come on. What's your thoughts on the current world economics right now? Who are you voting for next year? N O T H I N G. Nothing. Say it with me A B C. One, two. Abra. Same way, Charlie. Do you have yep. the number? All right, show us hold the on. number. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, All right, turn right. around. You asked the first question. So I'd say, like, bro, just ask, give me a sport. Hockey. Alright. Give me a food. Spaghetti. 
Uh, a sports drink. Gatorade. <laughs> what? Uh, give me a brand of car. Toyota. <laughs> I know, what? Is, is, it, is it eight? No. Seven. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, a clothing brand. Adidas. Alright, final guess. Seven. Six. Nine. Eli got it. You know, this is kind of weird, but all those questions made me kind of hungry. You know, I, I know a guy who could help with that. You all know him. You all love him. Brock Pedersen. What up, guys? This is me, Ped. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a steak, or cook a steak, rather. What you want to do is you want to get a pan, and you want to get some olive oil on there. You want to make sure the pan is super, super hot. To make the taste better, just this is just for me, you know, you get some lime juice and you just, bam, you squirt it on there. To season the steak, you're going to want to get salt and pepper, just grind that on there. And then once you get the salt and pepper on there, then you just rub it. And now, for the best part, the sizzle. Put these babies on there. Just for some more seasoning, you put butter in there. Just spread it around there. Get it ready to cook the, the steaks over the butter, you know what I'm saying? Take a look at that. You can't make this up. Put the butter on the steaks. Get it all around here. Then, when you think they're done, and they're done because you can see the red in the middle there, the closer we can get it alive, the better. Here they are. And then you eat them with Harley special sauce. And then you just dig in. Easy as that, ain't it? Look at that perfect cut of meat, perfectly red. Dip it in. Mm! That's how we do it. We are one tribe. You know, that steak was so good, I kind of feel like dancing. You know, that reminds me of something. We actually have some people at Central dancing competitively. I joined dance because I've been dancing for about 14 years now and I originally quit it because I've been having knee problems but then I decided to join back in because I really missed it. Delilah Pope is a junior captain of the dance team. It means you have to be a good leader and you have to know like how everyone acts on the team so you can kind of like give everyone their needs that you want. Sometimes it's a little hard if you're having a bad day, but overall it's pretty fun. Delilah once again made it on the state team this year. At state, dancers get to compete in their division for the state title. Making it onto the state team means you've worked hard and put in the effort to get there. I think it means a lot because I've done dance for so long and it shows how much I've improved and being on the state team is really exciting and kind of nerve wracking. There's a lot of emotions. It's kind of like overwhelming if you've never like been to a competition before, but if you have, it's kind of exciting, but it's also like nerve wracking. It's just a lot, but it's, it's really fun. Enough dancing. Let's talk politics. I agree. Let's see how Senate's doing. I want to see out of the student council from Central High School is more collaboration with the other high schools. Uh, I want to bring Cheyenne together. I want to do positive impact. Um, and I think unifying the community would be a nice touch. Um, I want to see more school spirit because I think it's kind of lacking this year. And last year it was way better. So I just hope that people want to go to games and come to school. Um, what I want to see most out of our student council is more tribe pride. I would like to start school at 8.45 and end at 3.15. And I don't want school on Fridays. I would like to see the best esports tournament I've ever seen. I'd like to see more events to promote school pride. What I want student council to do is uh, make more snow days. Probably more things to do with the school, more events, or I don't know, just more days off. I don't know. I'd like to see more leadership in our school and make our school a better place. So, first, they should be a lot like Brock, don't you think? 
second, well, seriously, like brought good leadership skills, someone that's respectful, someone that other students look up to. And I say that kind of jokingly, but I know a lot of our um, undergrad, or undergrad, sorry, um, our underclassmen look up to our student council and our leadership, and they look up to you guys. So somebody that can be a role model for the other students. All right, there's uh, one thing I want to see student council do. It's probably like more like assemblies and pep rallies during like sports seasons and just make them a little more hyped up and fun. But other than that, not much. I still can't believe we're halfway through this school year. I know, right? Halfway through and there's no way I get my grades up from here. That's all for now, Central. We are one try.